going everybody it's Bo Sawyer uh seen a lot of people doing these vlog things here lately you know and it, it just looks like fun you know so why not hop on the trend a little bit um so you know the monster hunting business it is what it is it's fun it's great it's awesome uh but sometimes it doesn't pay the bills all that well and uh Unfortunately for me, here shortly, I gotta go do this shoot job thing, and I'm not really looking forward to it. But before I go, I gotta come out here. Welcome to the uh, Shotgun City Gym, by the way. Um, I've got stuff, I've got weights. It was uh, pull day yesterday. Um, so I was doing some uh, deadlifts and all, and it's all good and fun. Uh, let's see, the old yield vest. Gotta love it. Also gonna love Charlie, my, my handy little friend. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna go do this shoot job thing, unfortunately. Uh, it's gonna take about 10 hours, but for you it's gonna be like two seconds. And uh, you know, throw me some comments, what y'all think about the uh, twisting it up. Thanks to uh, the Murderhog Monster and uh, old Doc Gallows for the inspiration there. And uh, let me know what you think. But until then, uh, chill here with the boss man. So that is 10 hours of the shoot down. Uh, it was a long night, not gonna lie, kind of sucked. But now the even more fun part, nah, we're not listening to that. You gotta love it when your wife drives after and has like on the pop station. So it was a night of work. It's that shoot stuff, but hey, it's making money. So uh, now the fun part, going home and getting the workout in. So here we go. Okay, I lied a little bit. So before we get into the workout, I want to show off a little bit of my collection because I'm a little bit of a nerd. I'm a big wrestling nut, obviously. But here's some of the boys up here on the wall. Starting off with Macho Man Randy Savage, Samoa Joe, Eddie Guerrero, stunning Steve Austin with that WCW Tag Team title belt right there. Sorry about the glare. Uh, finish it off with my favorite Davey Boy, uh, the Rich Bulldog. And also up here, the British Bulldog with Matilda in tow. Sorry, that glare is really giving you the business. There it is. So Davey Boy Matilda and that sweet, sweet cape on that Bulldog. That's gotta be like the 92 uh, Wembley Stadium SummerSlam Davey Boy. Just doesn't have the inter Intercontinental title in that, which would be badass if it did. Uh, this is kind of like a, a game room, a playroom where me and my son, still not finished, still a lot of stuff to do. But uh, you know, over here, Got Better Ray Bill, my bad, that's Logan uh, Wolverine. That's, that is Better Ray Bill, that is Skullbuster. That is Wolverine number one, uh, Cap. Got a one Hulk, two Hulk. Pretty sweet Venom that I got a really good deal on that poster. Slowly getting over there. It's actually pretty badass. And a couple little uh, smaller posters over here. This room, completely not even close to being done yet, but uh, eventually it will be. But here's a little question for you. This poster right here that I have. So we've got Cap, we got Wolverine, we got Luke Cage, we got Spider-Man, but this right here, I know who it is, but do you know who it is? Put down in the comments, let's see how good your Marvel knowledge is. Tell me who this is. All right, boys and girls, coming to you live from the Shotgun City Gym. It is about to be a leg and a shoulder day, <sighs> plus cardio. There is a lot going in here today. Thor, I'm so sorry, dude. I know you got a split and headache. <laughs> There's that little rim shot right there. But yeah, it's leg and shoulder day because you never know. <sighs> Sometimes you got a deadlift. Sometimes you have to get underneath. You have to shoot in. You have to that, that go behind. Spin that werewolf up, pick him up on your shoulders, and you gotta put him down. You gotta give him that attitude adjustment. Let's see where I'm going with there's some wrestling puns right there. Or you never know, you might have one of these vampires, and no, ladies, they do not actually sparkle. They bite. They will make a happy meal out of your neck, and they will make you their undead freaking slave. Some of y'all out there are probably into that freaky shit. Huh. Oh, sensors. Okay, so I can say ass, right? Okay, but I can't say shit. Can't say shit. Can't say mother. Okay, now that we got the basis line, um, yeah, that's 
that's all I was really checking. So, okay, it's gonna be legs, it's gonna be shoulder. And we gotta do the cardio. The cardio sucks. We hate the cardio, but it is vital. It is very, very necessary. Not necessarily for the zombies though. And just like Zombieland, I mean, they're gonna get fat. Like you watch The Walking Dead and everything, and it's a nice little series that's been going on you know, entirely too long because you're gonna run out of them zombies, I promise you. Yeah, you've seen them, they're all skinny. Um, I, I don't get it, but there there are fat ones out there. And they're right, Tallahassee. You got a purdy mouth. <laughs> You're incredible. I know. Yeah. Twinkie, 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 twinkie. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big horse. Oh. Come here, big fella. Just gonna take a little off the top. Wow, these fellas really let themselves go. Cool, oh, man. That no. I forgot about that last one. That was just, that was nasty, but hey, a little off the top. Don't even need any more than that. So uh, without further, almost further ado, we're gonna skip. I know, see this this fist thing. Guys do the, to you know, the cut screen on vlogs or you know, videos all the time. It's, it's overdone like crazy. I'm gonna keep doing it, but it's all right because we're gonna cut it one more time and we're gonna get some pre-workout. We're gonna get this workout going. So here we go. Okay, so one of my things I like to do before a workout is take pre-workout. Uh, so today, and one of my favorites actually is the uh, the Red Cotton One Total War. This one is, what kind is this? Rainbow, Rainbow Candy. It is one of my most favorite ones. The taste is amazing. Some of the, some of the pre-workouts you get just have that really funky aftertaste that just make you absolutely want to puke it back up as soon as you take it. And uh, the way I take it, some others take some others take it the same way I do. Some people are just like, that's the most gross <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> there it is. I'm not sorry about the dog bark. I kind of like it because there's the, uh, the sensor button, you know, the beep, but at the same time, let's change it up. Let's make it a little bit different around here. You know what I mean? So, uh, the way I do mine, I need to get a little bit of a drink first, just to, you know, get ready. And I've also got my BCAs in here. It's not Ruby Red Hawaiian Punch, or Fruit Juicy Red, my bad. Because if that's red, then I got some problems going on. So, a little pre-sip to uh, get ready for the stupidity that's getting ready to happen because I dry scoop. And dry scoop, I, it gets a bad rap. Like, people don't like doing it. They think it's the grossest thing or the most barbaric thing ever. I have forgotten shakers and everything plenty of times. So, I just said screw it and I just started, you know, dry scooping because why not? So, cheers. No, it's good stuff. Now, for you dry scoopers out there, I'm curious about this. Do you get that weird, almost like a little burning sensation in your nose? My eyes start watering a little bit. I don't know why. I've done this a thousand times. But that's the way I do it. So, give me hell. I don't care. Tell me in the comments. Are you a dry scooper or you do it the traditional way? I want to get comments. I want to hear back from you guys. Because on this, I want some interaction going on. 
on my bandana stand place. I like this even more. So if you have or have not commented down there on what you think about this little gimmick, but uh, I think it makes me look less old too, because you see this gray crap hiding in here. Tight down there, it kind of kind of hides away, so I almost look like a normal person. And then, uh, no, it's got to be a pro wrestler. So anyway, it is time for the legs and shoulder day to commence. On to the workout. First things first, I know, I know, I know. I've got to apologize. I look so much different when I work out. I look like a million bucks. I look like a millionaire, but you know, sometimes you just got to get rid of aliens. Aliens are considered monsters too, you know? So uh, Chris Statlander, put that on safety. I'm watching you. I know what your deal is. Andromeda system. Mm -hmm. Been watching for a long time, but regardless, thank you to anybody who's still sticking around and still watching this. It is 3.41 a.m. I'm hungry. I am tired. I'm going to go crack open some kind of delicious Chipotle bumblebee snack. Maybe two of them. I'm going to down it. I'm going to drink, continue to drink my BCAs because I haven't drank them all yet, but it's going to happen. So thanks for watching. Remember to hit that little uh, bell up there. Subscribe. There's going to be more of this kind of stuff. I kind of like doing it. It's, it's a fun little project. It keeps my mind, you know, occupied and everything. And who knows, hopefully next time it won't just be me. So anyway, before I go, just remember this. Get busy living or get busy dying because like the main man Tracy's mother said, everybody dies. Sorry, Lance, Tracy said it first. Later.